Well, here we go. I'm going to do something a bit different this time. Um, normally, you see me on rigs. I've been making rigs for years. This is a straight out of your box rig. It's a rig that you can make with your normal just shot leader or minimal tackle. Uh, most people go sea fishing. You've got a shot leader what you use on your reel in your box. If you get stuck for rigs, I'm going to show you how to make a few with this. First of all, you need a length of line. This one's going to be a straight through pulley. So double your line up to the length of that you want your pulley. Cut that off. Through any line, always like that. Wet your finger, give it a stretch all the way through. It just makes it so much easier to work with. On the end of your bit of shot leader, get a bait clip, whatever bait clip you want. I've just got a Gemini bait clip, but you can use the imps or whatever you've got in your box. Do an easy one, two, three, four turns around your line. Poke it through the tag end through the hole. Pull it down nice and tight. As you pull it, you push with your thumb and your finger. Make sure all the knots sits down nice and tight. You won't get no mono burn or burn from the line either that way. Cut your tag end off. Then you want a bead. Gemini 80 pound swivel, another bead, and a crimp. Pretty straight throughs, I prefer the, the 10 mil crimps, it's a little bit longer. Put your crimp on, put your hook. One, two, three, four turns again. Pull it tight, push it up with your finger as you do it. Pull, push, pull, push. Make sure all them coils sit down nice and tight. So you've got no slip in the knot at all. Cut the tag end off. And you've got a silicone bead bait stop. These are Seago ones, but Shibuko and loads of companies make them. Get that straight through the centre of the bead. Slide it up over your hook. It sits on your shot leader. Get your bait clip. Clip it on your lead. Put your hook on the lid, sits down nice and tight. Bring it down to about an inch from the top. Crimp it. Don't feel crushed it completely, it's just enough to stop it from moving when people go over and weakens the line. But and there you have a straight through pulley rig. I'm going to put a panel, just put two hooks on. Using orange line, this shows up a bit easier in the video. Very quick and easy rig with minimal components. So if you're fishing with big baits, if you want to fish with small baits, do the same thing again, I'll show you another one. line same again stretch it what you want to do with this one depends on what you want I should just do one per video but if you want to do two you can do one each end of the line so this just push it together and it'll form a loop once you form that loop pull your loop down 
about six inches. You can go longer, you can go longer. Put the other tag in, go over the top. One, two. And in the middle of that, keep your thumb and your finger holding it tight. And do another two. One, two. You end up with a big loop in the middle. With that big loop, stick it through where your fingers were holding the line. And pull that down nice and tight. As you can see, you end up with a big loop sitting off the big body. your nail cutters, cut one side of the loop and that's your snood. Top of the rig, another Gemini swivel, Up down nice and tight. Breakaway leads are perfect for this. I've actually got a special one that I use for rig making. I've just bent the bar down a little bit more. Take the tag end off. On the bottom of the snood, depends on how long you want it, I would say. Left link, this is what your lead's going to go on. Slide it onto the bottom of the snood. Big body even. Pull that down nice and tight, nice and compact. Take the tag end off. There you have your main rig body. Your snood kicking off, all made from one bit of one line. And then your snood that's coming off. Put your hook on. Nice and neat. Another silicone bead base stop. Slide that one over your hook again. Pop over your knot onto your. It sits like that. Which one of these beads are they? They're movable as well, so you can just move them up. It works as a bait stop as well as a bead. So when you uh, finish, do you have a, a flapper rig? You're made out of one bit of mono. When you use two, what you do is get a longer bit of rig body, tie one loop this end of your line, one loop that end of your line, cut it off, same principle, and you end up with a two flap hole from one bit of mono. Minimal components, and all these components you keep in your box, so if you're out and you've run out of rigs or you're fishing rough ground, you don't want to lose all your top of the run gimps and stuff, which is a good way of saving money and catching fish. Thanks for watching. Um, stay safe and I'll see you soon.